Hello there, my Captain Play guys and gals. This is Captain Play Guy here with the next batch of matches for the Smash Shibo doubles. We've got Team Punch versus Team Browser today. Now, this is going to be a, this is going to be a tough match to call because with Chrome, he's one of the heaviest characters in the entire game. So, even with Team Punch's signature punches, they might have a difficult time knocking out Chrome. I think Chrome's going to be the MVP for this. And Fabius just KO'd his teammate and the opponent. That seems to be happening, happening a lot in this tournament. Ah, the pretty Delfino Plaza. I remember adventuring there quite a bit as a kid. I especially loved the... I forget if it was the Jet or the Turbo mod for the Flood. Anyways, returning back to the match, everyone's down to one stock. And there goes Fire. Chrome, all by himself, he's nearing 200%. Can he pull this off? Oh, Fabius grabbed... Kung Pao. Let's see. Chrome's trying to cover all the options for Kung Pao's recovery. And a useless fire breath. <laughs> oh, that up smash doesn't hit Chrome, but instead Kung Pao. Oh my, it's... I Is that 182 or 192? And there goes Kung Pao, quicker than you can say, Pneumonia Ultra Microscopic Silk Volcano Kaniosis. A very solid side smash from Chrome. This is going to be. Oh, another one! And Fabius is getting into that danger zone where he could be KO'd. Either contestant could be knocked out right about this point. Lots of the shield rolling. And a shield break. I believe this is game, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is. Team Browser continues to the next round. And here's our last match of the round. We've got Team Shadow versus Team Gadget. Now, this... I, I honestly don't know what's going to happen in this match because Team Gadget has lots of stuff up their sleeves. They can pull all sorts of tricks and surprises. But how will Team Shadow be able to handle against that? D did both teams just grab their teammate? And everyone's just caught in Ganondorf's up smash. Let's see, it just seems to be your typical fighter fair for for the matches. Oh, oh, all right. Sleeve almost got KO'd by Ganondorf, but it's not the case yet, but he is in the danger zone, especially. He's at 170, while everyone is settling right around 120%. And that'll do it for Sleeve's first stock. He's the first to go. My goodness gracious, did Inspector just got spiked! It looks like even with the high damage that Team Shadow has, they're racking up some good damage otherwise on Team Gadget. Let's see, Sleeve is up to over 100% already again. Where? I wonder if Sleeve can actually make it. And he gets knocked away by his teammate. And there goes Team Shadow's first stocks nearly simultaneously. Oh, there goes Sleeve. It's completely up to Inspector now. 
But I think I realize why Team Shadow has been dominating this whole match. Both of T both members of Team Shadow are able to reflect the projectiles, which is a lot of Team Gadget's fanfare. They, they would then have to rely on physical attacks, which doesn't seem to be especially uh, their focus. Inspector does seem to be handling himself quite well, though. Match is about halfway through at this point. Yeah, getting away from that sticky bomb. Oh! Oh, Inspector's over 200. Almost anything could take him out at this point. Let's see. I think it's still possible for Inspector to get this. Yeah. If he had focused on... Ah, if he had focused on Pit 2.0, then he might have had a chance. But Team Shadow takes the game, and they continue on to the next round.